Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Mike with Sunset Learning. Uh, today a brief discussion overview on getting your ICM scripts to run within the contact center. Keep in mind your ICM scripts kick off based on a, a call coming into the enterprise environment. Uh, the dialed number coming in from the PSTN or wherever the dialed number comes from has to be associated with the correct call type and ultimately kick off the right routing script. The routing script uh, produces call treatment, either via micro apps, maybe IP, IVR applications, could be external VXML applications, and ultimately drive where the call goes if the caller cannot be self-serviced. So obviously pretty important information here that we're going to try to help you out with with just a brief overview. So that's our goal, show you the association of all three of these items. Uh, to do that, I'm going to switch over here to actually an ICM server that we've got set up. Uh, we happen to have a script created already. Here is a script entitled The Script We Gotta Run. Uh, that's literally the name of the script, and this is the script we want to run given a particular dialed number and a particular call type. So, a couple ways to make this happen. We know we've got a script, we know we've got a dialed number. Dialed numbers have been already configured in this case. Got uh, Configuration Manager open over here. And we've got a couple items right next to one another under the list tools, anyway. Uh, we've got the call type list. We've also got the dialed number slash script selector list. I'm going to start off with our dialed number over here and show you that uh, dialed number I've got configured many different dialed numbers. The dialed number we're working with today, 800 number uh, 867 5309 for the 800 number. And our goal is to make it run the uh, script over here, the script we've got to run. Uh, we'll show you actually two ways to get the dial number and the call type mapped. First way would be right here when we configure our dial number. If we already had a call type configured, we could associate the dial number of the call type here within the dial number mapping tab. I'll come back to that in a second though, show you the other way around there. Another consideration we want is we need to have a call type. In our call type list here, we've got a bunch of call types configured. Uh, one of the call types we're going to be using today here is a call type entitled uh, Ye Old Call Type. So that's the goal is to make all of those things work together. Our 8675309 number, the Ye Old Call Type call type, and the script we've got to run script. That's our goal is to make all those things work. So again, uh, a couple ways to get started here. I'm going to go over to Script Editor again and show you the one way that will actually allow you to do everything you'd want to do. Um, and come back and show you an alternative way of just mapping dial numbers to call types. So within Script Editor, if I go up here to Script and down to Call Type Manager, uh, I see a Call Type Manager window which affords me a couple of tabs to associate my dial numbers to call types and call types to scripts. It's important to understand this first tab here, the Call Directory tab, only allows me to associate a dial number to a call type. And if I want to associate a call type to a script, I'm going to end up going back to the Schedules tab. So a couple nuances here worth pointing out. First thing I want to do is I want to pick my dialed number. So open up my drop-down list. You can see we've got a dummy dialed number added in here called uh, Pick DN here. Um, I'm scrolling down to the number I want to pick. In this case, my 800-867-5309 dialed number. I notice that currently no call types or scheduled scripts show up here. So I'm going to click on Add on the right-hand side. When I click on Add, this is the uh, field where now I can pick my correct call type, as noted. Uh, I'm going to open up the drop-down window here and scroll down to the ye old call type that I've previously created. Highlight that. Also making note that uh, if I need to do some matches on uh, calling line ID or the ante of the caller, as we would know it, I can uh, certainly do so. I can pick regions that are built into ICM. Uh, I can do specific prefixes or different matches of numbers, but in this case, um, running this particular dial number and call type association, regardless of where you're calling from. And uh, since I'm not getting any caller or digits with the request, I'm going to leave that field set to all as well. So I simply click OK here. What I now see is that my 800 number, 800-867-5309, currently associated with the ye old call type but also currently no script is scheduled to run. So I'm at least half the way there with my associations. Um, the one feature I guess you would see out of this particular window is uh, I've got my dialed number to call type associated. 
uh, to get my call type to script association, I must go to the schedules tab. It's important to understand that when you go from the call directory tab to the schedules tab, the system doesn't necessarily remember that you want the ye old call type when you move between these two tabs. So if I go to the schedules tab, I'm simply listed with an alphabetical listing of all of my call types. I must, while I'm here, reselect the appropriate call type that I want to get scheduled with a script. So I'm going to scroll down to the, of course, yield call type uh, that I had picked previously on that screen, and I notice that currently there is no script associated to run. I'm going to click Add on the right-hand side, and I've got a list of all of my scripts. If I scroll down through the list of my scripts, I should find my script that I'm after entitled the script we got to run. So that's the script I'm going to pick, highlight that script, uh, and make note that while I'm here, if I was to check the period tab, by default scripts run all day, every day, 7 by 25 by 365. I'm sorry, 7 by 24 by 365. That'd be way too many hours in the day. Uh, so if I needed to change that, I certainly can. I'll come back here and, and show you a demonstration of that here in one second. But right now, just pick the script that I got to run. I'm going to say OK right here. <coughs> I notice now it says the ye old call type is going to be associated with the script we got to run in this first box here. And while I'm here, I'm going to make use of this apply button. I find this very handy. The reason I'm going to do that, it's going to leave this window open for me. And now when I go back to the call directory tab, it is going to remember what number I was working with. It is now going to show me that I've got the correct call type association, and furthermore, I've got the correct script associated. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, so that's a good thing. Now I can say OK. And now, if somebody calls the 867-5309 number, uh, the correct call type and ultimately script will run. <coughs> So, a um, couple of other things for you while you're here. A couple other windows worth checking out. Uh, first off, if I go back to Configuration Manager um, and back to the dialed number slash script selector list, open that up, retrieve my dialed number. <clears throat> One thing to make note of is that I can also associate a dialed number to a call type in the dialed number mapping tab of the dialed number slash script selector list tool. I notice that uh, if I go to the dial number tab, highlight the entry here and click on edit, uh, it's revealed to me that similarly as we saw within script editor, I can associate a call type to a dial number while I'm here. It's important to note that uh, the only place really to associate a call type to a script is in fact over here in script editor, uh, which you can do all three things with if you so desire. Uh, one other thing worth checking out while we're here talking about things is back under script editor. If we go up to script and down to a couple of other options that we've got, uh, first off under administrative manager, keep in mind administrative manager is where you can schedule admin scripts. Remember that admin scripts do not run given a dialed number but re rather on a uh, regularly scheduled interval. So this is how of course we can uh, modify or schedule admin scripts to run in different frequencies. Uh, and a couple of other options for you. You may, by example, know the script that's running but not know the dialed numbers that are hitting it. Uh, or perhaps you know a call type but don't know what script is scheduled to run. Uh, a couple of other options for you under script editor, script. Uh, you've got call type associations and enabled scripts. If we first off visit call type associations, we can see that uh, we've presented with a listing of scripts. If I scroll down to the uh, script we got to run script, I can see that uh, right here I've got a dialed number, only one scheduled with this particular script. I can also see what call type is associated with this script, whether or not it's enabled. If I highlight the entry here, I can click on the schedule uh, button and notice that that seemly, uh, simply brings me back to the call type manager window where I see the same information just presented in a slightly different format tab-wise. Uh, so that's another option for you. The third and final option here is to say if I go to script, enabled scripts, uh, I see two tabs, admin scripts and routing scripts. If I go for routing scripts, I can scroll down to see my associated call type, in this case the ye old call type. I can see that the ye old call type is scheduled to run the 
script we've got a run script and I can also see a current count of how many calls have hit the script. Notice that also while I'm here if I click on the schedule button it just simply brings me back to another place the call type manager where I could uh, change my associations if, if I needed to. Uh, one final option for you here uh, let's say that I have a holiday script that needs to run uh, as well as a regular routing script uh, but I want to make sure that the holiday script runs on the holiday if I go back to call type manager pick my dialed number again <clears throat> I've currently only got one call type and one script scheduled but if I go to the schedules tab and pick the correct call type pick my yield call type Let's say I add another script. Uh, let's say that one of these scripts is just our holiday script. Let's say that the CUIC 99 is our holiday script. I'll make it a holiday script by saying I'm going to run that script uh, yearly. We'll say every 31st day. Uh, how about every February 14th? We'll call that the uh, Valentine's Day script. That seems like a good option. I'll say OK there. So now I've got a Valentine's Day script that's scheduled to run the CUIC 99 script that I want that to run only on Valentine's Day and instead of the script we've got a run script. So I'll give you a couple seconds here to ponder whether or not I'll get a support call on Valentine's Day of next year uh, as I have the wrong script scheduled. And if you answered that uh, yes you will get a support call uh, that is a true statement. You'll notice that over here on the right hand side I've got a little movie uppy downy arrow object. Uh, depending on which object I highlight, what I really want to do is I want to put the most um, I, I guess the most specific script towards the top of my list. In this case if uh, February 13th rolls along We'll take a look at the schedule time and say, no, it's not February 14th, and we'll go ahead and run the script we've got to run. If, however, it comes to February 14th, kick that off. Uh, the CUIC 99 script will, in fact, match. And again, if I make use of my Apply button here, go back to the Call Directory tab, you can still see that since today is not February 14th, the uh, yield call type is still going to run the script we've got to run script. Uh, since today is in fact February 15th, if I go back to the CUIC 99 script and modify that and say let's run that every February 15th and say OK and then apply again, I should be able to go to the call directory tab and see that in this case I'm going to run the CUIC 99 script. So. Um, hopefully that has helped out with scheduling scripts, call types, and dialed numbers. As always, please feel free to check us out on the web, www.sunsetlearning.com, and we hope you come back and visit us for some uh, further training on ICM and CBP, IP, IVR, call manager, anything unified based, we are here to help you out with that. So thanks and have a good day.